incredible. As the days pass, more and more stories and documents are emerging of problems within the condo association at Champlain Tower South. Local Sun News investigator Jeff Weins here is live with what he's uncovered. Jeff. Well, according to state records, Champlain Tower South has had five different condo presidents and vice presidents in the past five years. Different leaders year after year with different visions. And we know not everyone was on the same page. Local 10 News spoke to a longtime Champlain Towers South resident who asked not to be identified in fear of retaliation. They tell Local 10 News, quote, the problem was the board of directors. We had a hard time with some of them. The resident points out to what happened with Miriam Notkin, a longtime resident who remains missing. State records show Notkin was the treasurer on the board from 2014 to 2019. The source says Notkin had had it. Quote, the last board, she said, I'm finished. I cannot fight. They don't hear me. They don't listen to me. Enough is enough. This is the end of it. They made her life miserable. There was fighting constantly. And according to this email, Notkin herself addressed the board. In 2019, when she had an issue, she wrote to fellow board members, quote, doesn't it bother you to see this building, what it has become? The Wall Street Journal publishing a letter that was sent by the condo board president back in April, warning that significant repairs were needed that the building had deteriorated since a 2018 report saying, quote, the observable damage such as in the garage has gotten significantly worse since the initial inspection. When you can visibly see the concrete spalling, that means the rebar holding it together is rusting and deteriorating beneath the surface. The board did approve $15 million in repairs. Some residents thought an assessment was simply too high. While the building was going through its 40-year recertification, the man who helped write the rule says maintenance should have been ongoing here. You don't wait 40 years to do your building. You, the code requires you to maintain the buildings as you go. So every year, every you need to scrutinize your building. Assessments for all those repairs were set to begin July 1st, just days from now. They range from $80,000 all the way up to $336,000 per unit. We're live in Surfside, Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News. So